Meyer, the movie guy, is here with us now talking about some of the top movies that he has seen lately in theaters. We're going to start with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. We've yeah. got some, uh, some of those A-list actors. Huge, huge stars in this, in this movie, yeah. yeah. And this came out this weekend. This is a movie that has Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie. Um, it's about a faded television actor and his stunt double. They're trying to find fame and success in Los Angeles um, during the final days of Hollywood's golden age in 1969 Los Angeles. You know, you go to see this movie really not just for these stars, though. It's because of of Knoxville native Quentin Tarantino, you know, who's amazing, one of the most influential filmmakers of his generation. He's never made a bad movie, and his hot streak continues with this one. And this movie gives you a lot of what you love about his movies. This movie has over-the-top violence, lots of lo long scenes with lots of dialogue, dark humor, pop culture references, so much more. Um, you know, this is a movie that is kind of Tarantino light, though. And in some ways, that's good. This movie is more character focused. Mm -hmm. You don't really care about the characters that much in his films. But in this one, you yeah. really do about DiCaprio's character. And you really can kind of relate to him, anybody who's been an adult and had to kind of come to terms with, you know, really who, who they are and where they are in their careers. Uh, but this movie isn't quite as edgy as some of his. I didn't think the dialogue was quite as sharp. Um, and it doesn't have as much suspense as it, ne as it needs to. I should mention that uh, he lives right next door to Sharon Tate who we know was eventually murdered by the Manson family. So mm -hmm. that's kind of looming in this film and uh, not as suspenseful as it should be. But, you know, even though this is probably Tarantino's fifth or sixth best film, it's not yeah. the best one. It's still better than pretty much anything else anybody else is putting out there. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's still, I think, one of the best movies of the year so far, in my opinion. So it's very long. If you don't like Tarantino or yeah. Hangout movies, then skip this one. But if you do, then absolutely check this one out. I really, really liked it. He's got a unique style. People will know absolutely. if they like it or not. And how did uh, Brad Pitt and Leo do together? They're I was great. asking you, when was the last time they were ever in a movie together? I mean, they were in Growing Pains together a long time ago. But yeah, this is uh, they were fantastic in this movie together. Oh, excellent. On to the next one, The Art of Self-Defense. Yeah, this is a movie that stars Jesse Eisenberg. He plays this sort of meek accountant who one day he's um, brutally attacked by a motorcycle gang, and he decides to take karate lessons to gain confidence and to defend himself better. Mm -hmm. uh, and he gets what he wants out of that but he also discovers this really dark underworld so this is a bizarre movie I had not seen the trailer before I watched it and um, it's a movie that is uh, kind of this horror film in many ways it's about toxic masculinity um, and it is dark and brutal but it's also really funny and just very goofy it really walks a tightrope as far as the tone here because mm -hmm. it is hysterical at the same time it's really a satire and so um, it, it's just bizarre Eisenberg's entire journey going from this meek accountant to this killing machine is, is just hysterical I laughed out loud constantly <laughs> this movie, but it is not for everybody. Uh, I would check out the trailer with, you know, with dialogue and with uh, sound before watching this because uh, if you don't like uh, dark comedies, then this may not be for you. But I really, really enjoyed it. So mm -hmm. uh, if you do like these, go check it out at Downtown West. Yeah. All right, and our final one, Midsummer. Yeah, this is a horror film that stars Florence Pugh and Jack Rayner. Mm -hmm. Both are incredible. Um, they play a young couple that decides to go to Sweden together to experience this uh, really interesting festival. But they get there, and they find that they're at the hands of a uh, violent and bizarre pagan cult ritual sort of thing. So um, this Ooh. is a movie that's from Ari Aster, who brought us Hereditary last yeah. year, which I loved. This movie's not as scary, but it is very creepy, very unsettling. It deals with grief like Hereditary does. It's a movie mm -hmm. that's um, about a woman who's lost her entire family. She goes with her passive-aggressive, manipulative boyfriend there because it's all she, he's really all she's got. Uh, but while she sees this cult do all these violent and terrible things, they're also really supporting her and rallying around her uh, from an emotional standpoint. So it's really interesting. Um, this movie also, dark comedy as well. There are moments in this movie that are so bizarre that you don't really know what to do but laugh. Um, so I like this one a lot. Love the performances. Um, you know, if you like Left to Center horror films, check this one out because this is one of my favorites of the year. Interesting. And these are all in theaters right now? All in theaters right now. Cool. Yeah. Maybe it's time to have a movie day, right? Yeah. Well, where can we go for more reviews? Uh, you can go to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, at Will Talk Movies. Awesome. We're glad to have you here. Let's get a check with Rebecca Sweet for another look at the forecast. All right.